Disclaimer, the following guidelines and recommendations should not be construed as dictating an exclusive protocol, course of treatment, or procedure. There are vast differences between countries and geographical regions with respect to infectious disease presence slash absence or prevalence, vaccine product availability, owned versus free roaming dog and cat populations, practice and client economics and societal attitudes. Other recommendations are based on practical clinical experience and a consensus of expert opinion. Further research is needed to document some of these recommendations. Because each case is different, veterinarians must base their decisions on the best available scientific evidence in conjunction with their own knowledge and experience. The 5-in-1 vaccine is initially given as a series of injections spread out over a number of weeks. However, because it is a combo vaccine, your puppy will only need one shot per visit instead of four. Puppies at least six weeks old receive a dose every two to four weeks until they reach 16 weeks of age. For dogs who are older than 16 weeks but have never been vaccinated, the number of initial doses is reduced to one or two. All dogs should receive booster doses of the vaccine every one to three years, depending on the vaccine label and your veterinarian's recommendation. Vaccination is an important step to preventing serious diseases from affecting your furry family members. But why give your pet five shots when they could get what they need in one? For dogs, several of the most common vaccines are typically administered together in a single shot that's known as the combination, multivalent, or five-in-one vaccine. The canine 5-in-1 vaccine is considered a core vaccine, which means all dogs should receive the vaccine regardless of their lifestyle. Core vaccines tend to protect against viruses that are highly contagious, cause serious disease and have high fatality rates. Here is what pet parents should know about the 5-in-1 vaccine for dogs, including the diseases it protects against and how it's administered. The 5-in-1 vaccine for dogs is typically referred to by its acronym, DAP, DA2PP or DHPP, to indicate the diseases it protects against. The canine 5-in-1 vaccine includes protection against canine distemper virus, indicated by the letter D, two types of adenovirus, named A, A2 or H, para-influenza, P, and parvovirus, P. These diseases are all caused by viruses with no known cure, so vaccination is the primary way to keep dogs protected. They are also highly contagious, and dogs of all ages are at risk of becoming infected. Canine distemper virus Canine distemper virus is a morbillivirus that is related to the virus that causes measles in humans. Distemper is spread through the air by direct contact with an infected animal or by indirect contact through shared bedding or dishes. This serious disease targets the respiratory, urogenital, gastrointestinal and nervous systems of a dog. Infected dogs may suffer from a high fever, cough, vomiting, diarrhea and watery discharge from the nose and eyes. Progressive stages of disease may include pneumonia, seizures and paralysis. Distemper can quickly become fatal. For dogs that do survive, the disease can cause permanent brain damage. Newborn puppies and unvaccinated dogs of any age have the highest risk of infection. Canine adenovirus There are two types of canine adenovirus, CAV1 and CAV2. CAV1 which is also known as infectious canine hepatitis, is the more serious of the two types. CAV1 spreads through the urine and feces and can severely damage the liver. Even after the initial infection clears, dogs may suffer long-term, irreversible changes to the liver, kidneys and eyes. CAV2 is one of the diseases commonly associated with kennel cough. The virus spreads directly from dog to dog through coughing and sneezing. Infected dogs typically experience a dry, hacking cough along with a fever and nasal discharge. Canine para-influenza Like CAV2, canine para-influenza is another virus responsible for kennel cough. It is also transmitted in the air and can spread rapidly, especially in areas where large numbers of dogs are kept together. 
coughing, fever and nasal discharge are the major symptoms associated with infection. One important thing to remember is that canine para-influenza is not related to canine influenza. The two viruses cause different diseases and require separate vaccines for protection. Canine parvovirus Canine parvovirus is a serious and often fatal disease. Although all ages of dogs are susceptible, puppies that aren't yet fully vaccinated have the highest risk of infection. Canine parvovirus is highly contagious and causes damage to the GI tract, resulting in vomiting, bloody diarrhea, and rapid fluid and protein loss. Treatment often requires hospitalization and intensive care. The virus is highly resistant to many common disinfectants and can remain in the environment, including soil, for up to one year. Advantages of a 5-in-1 Vaccine the 5-in-1 vaccine for dogs offers many advantages over single pathogen vaccines. For one thing, your dog will only need to receive one shot during each visit rather than five, which saves time and money and minimizes your pet's discomfort. This combo vaccine can even include non-core vaccines, like leptospirosis, which means your pup can get maximum protection without having to get multiple shots. Extensive research studies have shown that the 5-in-1 vaccine is generally safe for dogs, including puppies as young as 6 weeks old. Any side effects encountered are typically rare and mild, such as temporary soreness at the injection site. Rabies virus Rabies is a viral infection that mainly spreads through a bite from an infected animal. Animals who have rabies secrete large amounts of virus in their saliva. The disease is primarily passed to dogs through a bite from an infected animal. It can also be transmitted through a scratch or when infected saliva makes contact with mucous membranes or an open, fresh wound. The risk runs highest if your dog or any pet is exposed to wild animals. The most common carriers of the rabies virus in this country are bats, raccoons, skunks and foxes. A dog who's become infected may show extreme behavioral changes such as restlessness or apprehension, both of which may be compounded by aggression. Paralysis of the throat and jaw muscles may follow, resulting in the well-known symptom of foaming at the mouth. Disorientation, incoordination and staggering may occur, caused by paralysis of the hind legs. Other classic signs of rabies include loss of appetite, weakness, seizures and sudden death. Rabies vaccines are the only vaccines administered by veterinarians that are required by law. It is recommended that this vaccine be given at 16 weeks of age, a booster given one year later, and then another booster given every three years in accordance with legal requirements. In veterinary medicine, non-core vaccines are vaccines which could be considered optional, depending on the animal, the animal's lifestyle, and where the animal lives. Borrelia is a bacterial infection that can infect both animals and humans, causing Lyme disease. It is transmitted through a particular species of tick, called Ixodes, the deer tick, or the blackleg tick. Lyme disease can create highly variable symptoms in dogs. It can cause fever, anorexia, joint inflammation, lameness, enlarged lymph nodes, dehydration, edema, and kidney failure. Less than 5% of dogs will actually become symptomatic or ill. When they do become ill, it can be challenging to diagnose the problem because they can become sick at any time. Consider vaccinating only, if a significant risk of exposure exists. To determine if this vaccine is right for your dog, have a thorough conversation with your veterinarian to determine if this risk is sufficient enough in your dog to warrant vaccination. Leptospirosis Leptospirosis is a bacterial infection that can affect both animals and humans. It enters the body through the mouth and even water-softened skin. It travels around the body to the eyes, kidney, liver, spleen, urinary tract, and the central nervous system. Severe cases can cause kidney and liver failure. The bacteria is found in the urine of wildlife, such as skunks, raccoons, and rodents. Recommendation of this vaccine only if your dog has a high risk of exposure to the disease. To determine if this vaccine is right for your dog, 
Have a thorough conversation with your veterinarian to determine if the risk is significant enough to warrant vaccination. It is recommended vaccinating at 12 and 16 weeks, then annually if the risk of exposure persists. Bordetella is a highly contagious bacteria that causes kennel cough, a respiratory infection of the upper airway. It causes inflammation in the eyes, nasal or ocular discharge, enlarged lymph nodes, or fever, and it can turn into pneumonia. This disease is easily shared through saliva and nasal secretions, making it highly contagious. The treatment is simple and effective and involves administering antibiotics. Young puppies, older dogs, and immune-compromised dogs may become more seriously ill, especially if pneumonia develops. Vaccinate only if a significant risk exists. Vaccinate at 8 and 12 weeks, then annually if the risk of exposure persists.